very much. Have a great time. There you go. Okay, on the show floor once again, and it had to happen. We had to encounter at least one Laura Croft who looks amazing, and her counterpart, Monstrum. What is so enticing about the Laura Croft movies for a girl to really dress up and uh, identify herself with that persona? Well, I am actually play the games uh, from when I was nine years old. So when I... When I first saw it, I just fell in love with her, and uh, ten years later, I'm I'm still addicted to the game. So, yeah. why is Laura Croft such a powerful figure? Um, she just stands for girl power, and she can handle everything on her own. So that's very inspiring. Now, you you guys are together, right? Where, who, who started off with the Laura Croft uh, fanboyism? Did he pull you in or did you pull him in? She pulled me in, actually. <laughs> so she w you were a Laura Croft fan beco before you were? Yes, yes, that's true. Okay. And um, are there any movies coming out? Are you looking forward to anything new of Laura Croft? Or how's the game industry going? Um, well, there is one game coming up. Um, it's called Laura, Laura Croft and the Guardian, Guardian of Light. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, thank you very much for your time and enjoy your afternoon. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. And it's official, we're on the show floor, and we have encountered the two all-time classics of all conventions. The magnificent cosplay outfit, uh, cosplay, cosplay steampunk outfit, and of course, the ever-so-classic Princess Leia outfit. It has to be asked, you're going, to the con you're going to the convention, your mom says, pack a scarf, and you're walking downstairs dressed like this. What does she say? My mom doesn't know. So you, you just leave the house with a turtleneck and a jacket and long pants, long sleeves? I just have a big suitcase with a lot of costumes in it and one of the costumes is this one and my mom doesn't know what I wear. <laughs> this is the, basically the, ballsy, the most ballsy costume you, you can wear to a con. You have to be very confident. Yeah, well I'm not that confident but you get used to it, sort of. <laughs> But they say it's the same thing that with a stormtrooper outfit. You put something on and your identity just melts away. Yeah, it's a bit true. Because in truth, I'm a bit uncertain or, well, not that self-confident. But when you wear this, you're like, oh, Princess Leia is confident. So, hey, here I am. I'm confident. Did you manage to sex up any hot-looking slugs here lately? I think so. <laughs> So basically, this is this. These are the outfits, both both the Princess Leia and the beautiful steampunk outfit with the amazing glasses that turn heads. What's the what's the paradox? I mean, hot-looking girls in scampy clothes and boy geeks who still live with their mom. And you know, how does that work? Well, it's um, awkward the first time, but. Yeah, I think it's fun actually. You get used to it and then you just feel everything around it and yeah, it's awesome. Do they walk up to you or just basically drool in your direction? Well, first they drool and then if, if one person comes over to us, then it's like a whole crowd falling over. Okay. <laughs> Ladies, thank you very much for your time. I ho hope you have a great time at the con. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. <laughs> okay.